I have always believed that no recipe alone has a soul. It requires the magic of a chef to make a meal come alive. <laughs> it smells absolutely horrible, but I keep on smiling because they're super nice to show it to us. Hello friends and welcome to Adana. <laughs> if you ask anybody in Turkey about this city, they're gonna say that it's the hottest and the craziest city in this country. And if you're asking us like how hot does it get, then it's pretty much so hot that every summer some people here take out their guns and start shooting at the sun. I guess every one of us has heard that you are what you eat. And so, today we want to try the Adana's best foods and see if food is really the thing that makes them crazy and if we are going to go crazy as well. And the first thing we're going to eat is probably the most famous food in Adana, Adana kebab. And part of the reason why it's first is because the crazy things they start serving them after three o'clock because I guess nobody wants to eat something like this for breakfast. Adana kebab is one of the most famous meat dishes in Turkey. Fresh lamb meat is first minced, then married with spices, and after that, carefully molded around the skewer. Finally, it's cooked for several minutes on hot coals until it's ready for eating. Adana kebab is always served on a fresh flatbread. Wow, teşekkürler. <laughs> Lamb meat cooked in this manner never stops to amaze me. It smells so good. You take the adana, you slap it on your bread, then you take the onions, mint, sauce, and just look at that. It is tender, juicy, and the spices have perfectly mixed with the meat. This dish is truly incredible. Mint goes together with it so, so well. It just balances everything out. Pretty good for breakfast, eh? To our surprise, this restaurant also wanted to offer us their lahmacun. Making this famous Turkish food starts from such small balls of dough. Then the dough is flattened, covered, with a mix of meat and spices and finally cooked in an oven with live fire. Simple way to describe it would be as a thin and crunchy meat lover's pizza. Ooh, that sounded crispy. <laughs> That's so good. But at the same time it would be an underestimate as what makes a lahmacun is the well-balanced mixture of meat and spices what a normal pizza lacks. Of course, us eating delicious meat has um, sparked the attention of the audience, I would say so. And of course, to finish a meal like this, a Turkish tea is required. In the summertime, temperatures in Adana can climb extremely high. Yet to counter this hot weather, local cuisine has adapted. Many foods served on the street are with a sole purpose to cool you down. We were on a hunt for Bisi Bisi, a dessert made out of ice flakes. But although it was about 30 degrees outside, another place where they do not have Pichy pichy, pichy pichy, I got no idea how to say it. It was nowhere to be found. Luckily, we found the next best thing. We can already see on the other side of the road is another thing that is used to cool down your body. And it's gonna be muslu soot or banana milk. Bananas, sugar and iced milk. Çok teşekkürler abi. 
It's a banana smoothie, guys. It feels like the milk is very fatty. It's very rich in taste. The best thing about this smoothie is that it's so cold. It just cools you down. After the smoothie, we continued our journey and soon found ourselves with people who were going to reveal the secret of why was there no icy desserts sold on the streets. We wanted to buy ourselves some hibiscus tea, but about two minutes later, we were sitting in the shop. So he just asked us for tea, just drinking Turkish tea and telling stories. As it turns out, today's 30 degree heat was way too cold for the locals of Adana. And on such days, they carry jackets. He's wearing a jacket on this, this weather. Bisi bisi yok. And no one wants to do anything with icy desserts. Before leaving, they told us that there might be other drinks we should try. We were just told that a famous drink called Ashlama can only be found on guys who are like carrying big backpacks or jars full of it. It really sounded interesting to us. So now we are on the hunt for a guy with a big backpack full of some red liquid. Yeah. And we spent a lot of time looking for the right guy. After almost an hour, we finally found him. We've been waiting for it a long time, so we're gonna see how it tastes. I hope it's good. We got no idea. Yes. It was one of the weirdest drinks we have ever tried. We should have taken one. I'm sorry to do it. We were looking forward for that Ashlamaba. And I'm not sure if it's because we threw it away, but after drinking it, it seemed like an unbelievable curse had been put on us. That was, that was absolutely horrible. It tasted like you take a handful of mud and then mix it in water and <laughs> I don't know. The curse first showed itself in the next place we visited. Shalgam is a very popular drink all over Turkey. The second most famous thing to eat and drink from uh, Adana. Such shops are all over Adana <laughs> and locals usually have it together with sesame seed bread called simit. As we tried to order a glass of shalgam, the curse revealed itself. It had never happened to us before, but the vendor did not accept our money. They don't accept our money. I want to pay. They say no. It's on them. Shalgam itself is a fermented drink made of turnips and red carrot. It's actually quite refreshing and combats thirst perfectly. If, if you never had it, uh, it reminds a little bit of the juice of the pickles. Sort of acidic, not that heavy, watery. We thanked the owner of the shop deeply and left with a weird feeling. Maybe we were just imagining the curse. And so quickly we started investigating. As we quite enjoyed the fermented beverage, we found another shalgam place, ordered a cup and... Oh no, the curse was still present. And if you think that this is gratefulness in our eyes, I don't need this today. <laughs> then you're probably right, since such thing had never ever before happened to us. Perhaps it was only a thing of shalgan salesmen. Suddenly, when a gentleman who sold lemonade invited us to his store, we actually agreed. After two glasses of shalgan, we were not particularly thirsty, but buying lemonade gave us a chance to learn more about the curse. The lemonade itself was nice, and really such places are a huge part of Adana. But like many things all over Adana, then most of the food and drink are meant for cooling yourself down because of the hot months. After a lovely chat with the owner, it was obvious that the curse was worse than we had thought. 
once again, I can't believe it. He did not accept our money. Like, maybe the rest of Turkey was correct, and the people here really are crazy. As we tried to film the beginning of this video. Hello, friends, and welcome to Adana. <laughs> Locals kept on showing their openness and kindness. It was all too much, and we escaped. See, it wasn't that bad, but it was pretty bad. Suddenly, we heard a guy talking to us in English. We were asked for a cup of tea. <laughs> and it seemed like a good chance to calm down for a second. Of course, our new friend was also a kind local from Adana. And so, we accepted the situation. Rest of Turkey had been right. Adana was crazy. But the thing they hadn't told us was that it wasn't just crazy, but it was crazy kind and crazy welcoming. After tea, our new friend showed us to his favorite Shurdan place in town. It was one of the two foods we still needed to try here. Wow! <laughs> Shurdan is a local dish made of stuffing mix consisting of rice, meat and spices and a thing that it is stuffed with is a lamb stomach and intestines. Each pot like this has almost 100 portions and such restaurants are extremely popular amongst locals. But seeing and smelling Shurdan for the first time really wasn't that appealing. <laughs> it smells absolutely horrible, but I keep on smiling because they're super nice to show it to us. Straight away, they even gave us a small taster. Luckily, the stomach parts still weren't ready to be served. Uh, the only problem is the psychological part that you know it's intestine. For public, the restaurant opens around 6 o'clock in the evening. And so, we had an hour to decide if we even wanted to go back. In the meanwhile, we headed to a local dessert shop to try the last thing still on our list, called Karakush. We had almost forgotten about the curse in the last place we visited. But straight away, the curse of Adana's kindness was back. We were asked into the shop where we got to see Mustafa's art of cooking sweets in hot oil. We tasted the freshly made syrupy desserts. Oh, it has so much syrup. Very good. And also got to try karakush. There are seven spices in this dessert. Original Adana karakush. Nutmeg, cloves, cardamom. And it all shows in the taste. It's a little bit like nutty, crunchy, and not so sweet as usual Turkish desserts, so it's beautiful. And just those new tastes, chok is very nice. We were baffled to see that the shop like this also would not accept our payment. I can't believe it. We wanted to buy and the gentlemen were just like, no, your money is no good here. They say present, no yeah. problem. Chok chok te shakela. Wow. 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 <laughs> I can't believe that they didn't take our money. We had sweets, we had water, it was amazing. Wow. <laughs> we saw Adana in the last light of the day. And just as the sun was setting, it was time to head back to the restaurant. To our surprise, the place was packed. More than 500 portions are sold every night in this restaurant alone. And locals love it. We decided to share a portion with Lizu. Our waiter helped us prepare the meal. First, you have to get the string out that holds it all together. Then pepper curry, roll it and it 
was ready to be eaten. Texture of it was funny. Not really meat, not really fat. This one actually has a lot of meat than the smaller ones, so it's better tasting. I was afraid, like I didn't want to come back here. I, I'm, I'm, no, I'm not lying, I was super afraid. But since we already did all those shots, I had to come back here and try it, but not bad. The feeling of rice and spices was delicious. The chefs in Adana truly know their way with spices. And I have to say that the same chefs made this Shurdan experience so special for us. Seeing their devotion and pure joy of cooking made this meal so much more incredible and delicious for us. Because remember, no recipe alone has a soul and it requires the magic of a chef to make it come alive. Wow! <laughs> oh, and I just have to say that even in a big restaurant like this, the bloody curse stayed with us. I can't believe it. Friends, sun has fallen down and uh, our journey in Adana has come to an end. Yes, the sun was shut down. <laughs> yeah. But what can I say? The foods here, they are they're beautiful actually. I, I like them a lot. I like how the people here know their way around spices and uh, their personality exactly they're tasty they they're, they're more than just ingredients when it comes to the people i wouldn't say they're crazy maybe we haven't spent enough time yet but i would say that they're one of the kindest people we have seen in turkey like <laughs> and uh yeah, we, we barely got to use our own wallet. It's a weird feeling because we know that those people here, they're not making huge amounts of money, but they just did not accept our money in most places today. So as a last thing, it was really beautiful to have you with us tasting the crazy foods of Adana. And in the next one, uh, it's going to get even crazier. We're going to continue our food tour because this region of Tur Turkey is full of good food. And the next one will be from a place where they eat liver for breakfast. It's home to my favorite Turkish dessert. <laughs> and it's next to the Syrian border. Friends, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.